Now we're going to talk about options for exporting video from Flash. And these options apply only to embedded video. They're not appropriate for external video. So if you have a video embedded on your timeline, you can export it as FLV, AVI, QuickTime, or you can export a sequence of images, such as PNG or JPEG or whatever, and then you would bring that sequence into a video editor, such as Premiere, and from there you could export an FLV, an AVI, a QuickTime, or whatever. So let me start by showing you the directory that I'm working in. So right now I have this source QuickTime. It's 1.2 gigabytes and I have this FLV which I created using the Adobe Media Encoder starting from this QuickTime. So I haven't exported anything yet and I have these two files. So now let me go ahead and export an FLV and you do this from the library. So just choose your FLV in the library by left clicking on it, right click, properties, and choose export. Give it a name, I'll just call it test, and save. And that's all there is to that. And here's our test FLV. It's essentially the same as our original in this case. But if you had an FLA and you had an FLV in the library but you didn't have it on your disk, this is a way that you can get it out of the library and onto your disk. So I'll just close the library. Now let's try AVI. First let's take a look at our project size here. We're at 800 by 600 in this project. So I'll go to File, Export, Export Movie. And I have a number of options here. I'm going to choose AVI and click Save. So in this case it came up with the same width and height as my document. This is something you want to watch. Make sure you're getting the width and height that you want. You have an option to compress the video. I'm not going to do that now. Let's just try exporting. So here's what we got. We got a 210 megabyte AVI. So now let's go back again. Export. Export Movie. Still choose AVI. Give it a, another name. And let's choose Compress. Now when I click OK, I get some compression options. And I could choose a different codec. I could change the data rate. Perhaps make it higher to get better quality. Or lower to get a smaller file. But I'll just leave it as it is and just click OK. And there's our file. This time we got an AVI just a little more than 2 megabytes. So a lot of compression. And of course the quality there would be a lot lower. And you may have to do some experimenting to get the best balance of size and quality. And it could be that some other format, such as QuickTime, might give you better quality at the same size or a smaller size at the same quality. So again, you have to experiment with those options. And in the next tutorial, we'll continue with options for exporting video from Flash.